Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go over the cryptocurrency market and uh, let you guys know what's going on. I use a little bit different strategy than other people, as you can probably see. Um, for those that are following my channel, those are new subscribers. New subscribers, I do appreciate you. Slowly coming, but surely. And once more of these green candles start popping off, more will come. You see there, uh, Quant is at a 5X, over $200. You know why? You know why? It's the one that has a bunch of green candles. So what are people doing? They're aping. They're aping into Quant, guys. It's going to push that thing up to $400 now. So watch. But a correction should be coming up. Be looking for an entry. Still got a shot on Quant. First target, uh, that 400, 500-ish range on Quant, guys. And there's a lot of people that are jumping into that because that's the only one they see green candles. And by the way, too, drop a like, hit the subscribe button, help a brother grow his channel a little bit. You know, I'm just a small fry on the street compared to the other guys like Cryptos R Us and those other guys. So like those guys over there, you have an army. You have an army of people that are ready to FOMO. They are ready to FOMO. You know how I know? I was watching Cryptos R Us yesterday maybe it's the day before and some people in there in in his uh in his following was like hey what do you think about casper you know i was like uh oh here we go here we go i was like i know why they're talking about that it was they were talking about casper because they actually liked the coin okay what did it do they had like green candles like these huge green candles and they're calling up uh that guy over there i can't remember george as his name george Going up, George. Hey, George, what do you think about Casper? You know, looking pretty good, you know, and they're like trying to pretend like they think it's a fundamental thing, even though, hey, the fundamentals might be okay. I'm just telling you where they're coming from, like, you know, trying to pretend like it is. What do you think about that? Good fundamentals and stuff like that. I mean, come on, guys. You know why they're calling up asking about it. They saw that massive green candle. They're like, oh my gosh, did I miss it? They probably did. Hey, I missed it. I missed it. Hutan and Tony follows my channel. Both those guys got into it. So, Hey guys, good job, good job. Ride the wave, ride the wave. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over a Binance coin, the coin that nobody likes, even though it's one of the strongest coins in the cryptocurrency market right now. Um, as you can see, it, it didn't have a very deep, a very deep retrace compared to say um, some other some other coins like Ethereum, right? You see, it went up on this wave. It's over here. It had a shallow retrace which uh, Binance coin is actually notorious for not having deep retraces, guys. You know, this retrace out of this whole wave is only, uh, it's not 38%, it's 24%. And you just go through and look at, uh, here was a deep retrace on this. But if you just go through and look through Binance, it, it doesn't, it just shallow retrace and keeps on going, keeps on going, guys. So with Binance. But the reason I'm going over Binance is that I was watching Binance Sometimes it's uh, a good idea to check out some other coins. As I mentioned before in some previous videos, you have to you got to go through the whole crypto market to get signals. So I kind of uh, chuckle at some people that look only at the Bitcoin chart, only the Bitcoin chart. And you, look, have you seen what Bitcoin's been doing recently? It's a big ball, a mess. You can't discern anything out of Bitcoin. You got one guy says going to ten thousand. You got this other guy over here. Say it's going to 16,000. You got this guy over here. Say it's going to 24. You got this other guy on Twitter. He's drawing his pictures. Hey, look at this, guys. You know, look at that. It's the same thing as 2018. Next step is a moonshot to 65K. Stuff like that. Nobody knows what's going on because they're just looking at this Bitcoin chart and going, oh my gosh, how many more gray hairs can I get till I figure out what's going on with Bitcoin? You got to look at the other assets to get an idea. So I just put Binance on here and actually, Binance target for me was, I was kind of expecting maybe it could go down to 243, but it didn't. It just tagged. You can see, you see we're tagged right here. It's more or less uh, 256. It came back down with this nice, this is a bullish candle, guys, actually, right here. Back down to 257. And the interesting thing about that right here, so I'll let you know, you see this move that it did. I saw it doing this move, and I was like, what is this? Is this bullish? Is that corrective? What is going on with this? You know, I didn't know. You just can't know 
until it does the move and it does a correction and then see what it does from there. Now, could it go up and do some more? It could, but you have a good shot that this was able to struggle and make some sort of bullish sequence and correct it. And now it's going this way again. There's a good shot of that. Okay. And the, the reason I say that is how much it, it corrected on that wave. It went, it went to this wave. Let me remove this box now. So, okay. It went to this wave, 256. And you see that wave? Look at that on that chart. It just came right there. Kind of like ICP, right? Kind of like ICP. Went all the way down there and tested it. And now it looks like it could be off. So that's actually a pretty good signal for Binance. And the next step for Binance, make sure this market's gone bullish, is you want to see this thing wander its way up here to this trend and get back up there. And then it'll start going off probably again, guys. Which means if Binance is doing it, probably means Ethereum's going to do it. Probably means some other altcoins are going to be doing it. You have to realize, too, some altcoins are still in a correction. So they're not going to pop like other coins. Some of the coins, it looks like they finished a correction and they're starting to pop. Good example is like Casper. Good example is maybe a left zero. It looks like it's doing pretty good right now. And the reason I have this uh, this trend for a Binance coin is you, you could see this here wick down and then just goes right along that trend. And this uh, parallel channel and overthrow came up and touched it. You can see and it's right along. It needs to pop back up there. So. Contrary to popular opinion, um, a lot of people would give up hope when it comes outside the channel. But typically, these can mean this is a throw under. It could be a throw under. It usually means it could have a nice thrust. Sort of like it didn't do it over here. A little bit, I guess you could say. This is a little bit of a throw under, but it, it went and then thrust up. So that could be a good signal, guys. Good signal. Now, um, I got to go over, you know, we have Bitcoin and comparatively, uh, from recent times what's been going on this is like a massive pump this is like a serious pump compared to what's been going on with bitcoin you know like uh it's at 19,600 and this is like a uh i guess you call it baby pump for but recent times it's a pretty good pump so but what we're going to do is those are new to my channel is that instead of like drawing pictures like they do on twitter they go they go like this right you know it's like okay bitcoin's going to go up like that and then it's going to go like that, something like that. They do they do that on Twitter, right? These experts on Twitter, but they don't go over this chart. They don't go over this chart. You see this chart? This is GBTC. And I am waiting to see if GBTC is going to break out of this descending wedge. It might. It might pop out of there and come back down and back up. Okay? So it might hit here, resistance, and it could come back down here. And we could have a lot of... Uh, uh, time. So if GBTC goes from here, from there to here, you know, that means Bitcoin is going to go down. But if it breaks out of there, it could come down and then pop out of this descending wedge. Uh, for those that don't know, this is a GBTC chart. It's in a descending wedge. And um, it is basically Bitcoin. It's basically Bitcoin, guys. All it has in its portfolio is Bitcoin. So this goes up, Bitcoin goes up. This goes down, Bitcoin goes down. So you can see the descending wedge right here. It's down in the descending wedge. And you see right here, come down and you see, boom. And you see bullish divergence. So at some point, all GBTC is probably going to pop. Okay. So better than the pictures on Twitter, you go like this. Oh, yeah, you guys, you know, like that. I, I'm pretty sure it's going to do that. So you got to use other charts. Now, this is primarily going to be over rows. And Phantasma, i let you guys know something is uh, Soul Phantasma. I was a little bit concerned with it here. You know, it went up onto this wave and it came back down. And you see, if I use USDT, it took it out. It took it out. So uh, if I go over here, you see there's a difference. On this chart, it didn't take it out. It didn't take it out. So I think it could have busted off. This is an impulsive wave. You can see, I'm going to go over Soul Phantasma with you guys real quick. Okay. Soul Phantasma, here's a third wave peak and went up. So this was an impulsive move. You know, it's not that strong. It's a small impulsive move. You really, I really want to see it. So I don't have any uh, divergence on the four hour chart, which is, I don't like that. So you want to be careful. It could be not done. Maybe more downside possibly. Just have to see, and then you have some divergence right there. 
So I'm trying to figure out what exactly is going on here with uh, Soul Phantasma with it, guys. But um, if it is bullish and it's done with its correction right there, is that A, B, C? It could be. If you look at it on the daily chart, it looks awfully three wave-ish, like so. Okay, came back around up. So Soul Phantasma did an impulsive move. Corrected to here, could have gone up and corrected to here, and it could be getting ready to get out of there soon. So it's a sleeper. Soul Phantasm is a sleeper, guys, right now. Pay attention. Uh, I pick up a little bit at 22 cents, and you have a uh, 786 correction. Let me check it with the candle bodies. Yeah, 786, it tagged it. If I use the candle bodies on that correction, and then if I check this one, just like so, I'm going to check this leg. More than likely, the depth of it, it's probably just uh, struggling to get out of there right now. And you can see that's a pretty deep correction if that's uh, an impulsive move and it corrected it almost, you know, 9886, basically 886 on the candle bodies, which is acceptable for a second wave correction. 786 and 886. These are the these are the numbers you want to look at for a second wave. 50%, it needs to be at least 50%, usually, is what you want to see. If it does fit, Luxo, 50%. Luxo did a 50% on a second wave. 618 is the next uh, area. That means it's a uh, you know, normal, decent correction. You mostly see that in traditional markets, these areas, 50 to 618. But for cryptocurrencies, these two numbers for second waves are very common, especially now with the macro environment, 786 and 886. Those two numbers. and um. A lot of people will give up hope on cryptocurrencies when they correct that deep. It means that they're going to go, oh, it's weak. It's no good. It's weak. Cryptocurrencies are notorious for doing deep corrections, guys. So I go over rows and take a look at rows. And, um, you know, it did a deep correction, too. It did a deep correction, too. And I just take a look at this. This is an impulsive move. So let me check the leg. Look at that. It tagged what? 886. 886. It could be done, guys, right there. It could be done. The the what remains is one, two, three, four, five. And what happened back here? Is that one, two, three? This is this is one, two, three, four. So it's so deep for a fourth wave. It could be done, guys. Um, let me go to rows on this chart. It could be done right there. And then it's in its next uh, bullish sequence um, right here. And I don't think this is ABC because it just went so high. So if I check this and say that's A and it came down for a B and whizzed up onto a C leg, you know, it went a little bit beyond 2.618. It's a little too much um, for that, but it is a cryptocurrency. It could have done that. Um, the correction is nice and deep. So it's probably done right there, guys, on this chart. There's, you have a good shot of that. And uh, what's it look like on the uh, RSI? Take a look at this. And um, it looks like the connector somewhere in here, like so. Came down, slowed up. And then this, this area looks like a connector. And then here. So, and that's a bullish candle. You know, wick down, back up. And now it went that way and off. So my, it's probably going to move, in my opinion. I mean, Rose is pretty easy, guy. Here's your, here's your uh, guys, here's your line in the sand, 0 .0, 0 0.04646. And uh, 4 cents is what I called a long time ago. And that was a pretty good little run right here where that was uh, 100, uh, 175%. So you could be looking at possibly, you know, what's your risk here? And just say you get in right there, you're looking at possibly an 18% risk, you know, depending on where you want to play that. And for potential, you know, 150%, 150% move on rows. So let's take a look at the overall picture on a weekly, see what it looks like. Um, this is the move that it did from November 20, blasted up March of 21 correction june and then blasted up again and had that uh, ending diagonal so that abrupt correction and rose right now is down let's see what is this down it went down 
93% and it's set at 91%. So, and then the weekly chart, you know, you could just take this weekly chart like so. There's the end of its cycle. So it's, it's on to something new, you know, like so. There's that cycle right there. You really can't count that cycle. You take a look at it. You see? You can't count that. That was corrected. So here's the other one. That cycle. So let's check that cycle. It's on to something new. I don't think it's going to be. the. If it's new, the only thing it could be is a connector only to swing back down. Don't think so. Went up, deep correction, and it's it's good right there, in my opinion. Just have, uh, you know, make sure you keep your stop loss in that area guys that's all that it is so that's the end of the end at the end of the day um everything's looking okay guys with uh with bitcoin and um some other uh coins right now that i'm just checking out and uh, paying attention to it's looking like left zero another one paying attention to might be getting out of there see if it's going to clear these areas um and it could it could Let's take a look at the time, see if the time makes sense, and it's finished there. So uh, 53 days, basically, let's just say 50, 53 days, and it's been in a correction for how long? Yeah, look at that. So yeah, the correction lasts 63 days, possibly 63. So that's a good time time relationship between this wave and this wave for a left zero, guys. So. Just want to see it start busting up beyond a dollar four, dollar five, and a dollar seven. And it could be off. Could be off. Haven't missed anything yet because it's going to come up. You see right here, like this, it'll come up and it'll do another correction, be another opportunity if it's in a bullish sequence right now, guys. All right. That's the end of my video update on uh, Soul Phantasma. A left zero, a little bit, Rose and Bitcoin, and a little bit of Binance coin. If you made it all the way to the end, do me a huge favor. Drop a like, hit the subscribe button. Peace.